Alright, what's going on guys? So it's back at you with another video previewing the Panthers and Steelers Thursday night football game for week ten. Week ten week ten already? Yes. Are you serious? Week fucking ten already. Yeah. Good guy. Remember in the off season where we all wanted football to be back so quick and now looking at it, it's week ten already. Man, the NFL season is leaving much faster than Oscar Hale would be leaving his teams. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> but seriously, like it's week fucking ten already. Like, god damn. What? Shit, man! The, the time goes by fast. It's not. It's not fair. I know. It's it's crazy. Let's let you know it'll be the Super Bowl. Yeah, and let's not get ahead of ourselves with that. So let's just focus on the uh, 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 Steelers and Panthers game, Week Ten. I uh, can't believe uh, it's Week Ten already. But um, yeah, Steelers versus uh, Steelers. Steelers. What the hell? Steelers versus Panthers, Week Ten, Thursday Night Football at at Heinz Field, man. Uh, this is gonna be a hell of a game. This is probably gonna be one of the bad, better Thursday Night Football games of the year. This is uh, this has potential to be a nail biter. This is uh. Two uh uh two greats from each each conference from the AFC and the NFC. The Panthers, you know, as you guys know, they're six and two. They're second in the NFC South. They've won three straight. They're on a hot streak right now. Their offense is looking great. Their defense is upgrading. It's like, you know, uh, this in my honest opinion, this could be our toughest challenge to date this season. Yeah, very well might be. Uh, in my opinion, it's the start uh, to this long stretch of games we got uh, for the rest of the it season. It really is, you know, um, because the Panthers are no joke. They aren't. I mean, no, they were one of the laughing stocks in the NFL until they drafted Cam Newton, and before they had that incredible 15-1 season. And look how they've done since. They've done fantastic. Yeah, they have. You know, it's uh, you know, they may not be on the level of that 15-1 season, but they are playing their best football ever since. Mm -hmm. You know, they are absolutely uh, uh, crazy. They're playing crazy at the moment, man. They're playing great football. They're playing very, very, very good, and honestly, threatening and terrifying football. Exactly. So uh, coming and going uh, in the Heinz Field, you know. Um, Many people might say we have the home field advantage, which we obviously do, but, you know, uh, this is not going to be an easy challenge with the hell ever. Right. You know, we have a very good resume against the Panthers. Uh, I believe, actually, I believe the last time we did face the Panthers was actually 2014. I believe that was Thursday Night Football as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe that was the last time we faced them, and we actually defeated them in a pretty interesting game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a very good resume against the Panthers, especially in prime time, but I think this one is uh, going to be a much different Yeah, because than those si since that game, you know, they've been – a hell of a lot better. Yeah, they have. It's it's. I mean, j let's just get into uh, Panthers' offense, man. Cam Newton speaks for himself. He's playing out of his mind right now. Christian McCaffrey is stepping up big time. He's he's one of the most versatile players in this entire league. He, mm -hmm. He's frightening. He's like a Le'Veon Bell. You know, maybe not on the same level, but in terms of versatility and impact and damage and yardage, you know, he is a lot like Le'Veon Bell. He definitely is. And then you got very, very versatile, very dynamic, very scary. He's he, gonna be he's gonna be a hell of a challenge. He is, for us. man. He he he's a he reminds me a lot of Le'Veon Bell and Alvin Kamara. You know, he really uh, does. He can run the ball. He can catch the ball. He's more. He, I honestly think he's more better as a receiver. And that's where we have to. Uh, that's where we have to watch him mostly because um, with those uh, hybrid running backs, you know, um, you know, we kind of have trouble with them lately. Exactly. So you know, we definitely gotta watch out for him. You know, uh, covering him is is much. Easier said than done. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously got Devin Funches stepping up as well. That him being their number one, he's having a good year. They got uh, uh, DJ Moore who's uh, getting involved more. Curtis Samuel stepping up. Greg Olson is still playing at an extremely high level with that crazy one-handed touchdown grab he had last week against the or this past week against the Bucks, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, seriously. So, and so, I think he's still dealing with his foot injury. Yeah, he's he, still putting up uh, numbers like this. Yeah, he is, man. Uh, Greg Olson is out of this world. You know, that entire offense is just stacked, and they got an offensive line that's upgraded as well. You know, this is going to be a pretty uh, difficult, pretty interesting challenge, man. Yeah, so. for our defense. You know, I mean, the Panthers' passing offense is pretty good, but that I'm not really too worried about uh, the passing offense of the Panthers. Panthers, believe it or not. Yes, even with Sense Ball, you know, starting over Burns and being on the outside of Hayden, I'm not really too worried about their passing offense. It's the rushing offense. Yeah, They're they, the second ranked rushing offense in this league. Yeah, they have one of the most dynamic, most intimidating, most exciting uh, uh, rushing offenses in this league. Yeah, like like we mentioned, uh, Christian McCaffrey, uh, maybe even CJ Anderson, Anderson sometimes, yeah, you yeah. know, because he's been mixing theirs from time to time. Curtis Samuel as well. Yeah, they do those end rounds with Curtis Samuel as well as DJ Moore. Obviously, Cam Newton is uh, obviously Cam Newton could be considered the best uh, rushing quarterback in the league right now. Which is a thing that we gotta watch out for. You yeah, know? we um, really gotta do some of them uh, uh, quarterback spies right yeah. here. Yeah, uh, who would we specifically have as a spy? Personally, I would put Dupree on him specifically because of his speed. He's probably uh, the fastest out of all the players we have on defense, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in terms of quarterback spot. Because I, I don't really see them having a defensive back being a quarterback spot. I could see Mike Kelton, but do you want to take him away from a, a, a possible DJ Moore or a possible Curtis Samuel? Or maybe Jarius Wright in there. Exactly. So do you want to take him away from that? Um, 
I would personally have Bud Dupree be a quarterback spy or play as a quarterback spy for most of this game. Um, and maybe put in Anthony Chicolo, maybe put in uh, um, Matthew Thomas in there, maybe. Yeah, maybe put him outside, you know, you know, um, or maybe put Vince Williams in there outside. You know, we, we can do some fun stuff to uh, try to limit Cam Newton, but I think anything that we say or anything that the Steelers do in reality is going to be much uh, much easier said than done. Exactly. You know, um, but I would probably have Bud Dupree play as quarterback spot just based on his speed. You know, him, uh, try, you know, him trying to stop – Newton and him trying to make tackles on Newton could be difficult because you know trusting Bud Dupree could be here and there, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, him specifically playing as a spy could limit Newton from rushing the ball and forcing him to pass it, and maybe that uh, causes our pass rush to step up and play a big factor in this game, which I honestly think is the uh, uh, main reason uh, for our defense to win this game. Yeah, that pass rush. You know that that that's kind of hard to do against Cam Newton. Right. You know because Cam Newton is a uh, is one of those. Uh, intimidating and threatening quarterbacks in this league. Yeah. Exactly. So that's something we have to watch out for, and we got to utilize that pass rush. We did a bit in Baltimore, but right now I think we really have to right here. Yeah. We want to stop Newton because that's how you stop Newton. You know, pass rush. Yeah. You know. Um. So I think pass rush plus more man coverage could do. You know, I definitely trust Mike Hilton, and Joe Hayden. Of course, they have stepped up these last four games. This whole entire defense has really stepped up. I'm actually surprised have, by it, and that's why this is going to be a very uh, good battle because the Steelers defense has stepped up, um, these last uh, f- uh few games, and with the uh. With a pretty hot Panthers offense, you know this is going to be a fun matchup, and yeah, I, I think it'd be a true test for this defense exactly. as well. This is going to be the real true test for this defense to see how they can do against a very intimidating and hot and high-powered offense in the Carolina Panthers. So this should be a fun battle. Exactly. So, so I think uh, the key to win the game for defense is obviously pass rush and try to limit Cam Newton as much as you can. But of course, that's a lot easier said than done. Yep. So, but as for the offense, you know uh, our offense is obviously hot. They they're performing at an extremely high level. The Panthers defense is. Uh, is uh is definitely stepping up as well. Yeah, the, their defense is no joke. Uh, Luke Keekley, uh, yeah, Tom, Luke Keekley, Tom, Luke Keekley alone. Seriously, Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, Mario Addison, Julius Peppers, one of the ageless wonders. Mike Adams can be considered up there as well as one of the ageless wonders. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eric Reed, Sha- uh, Shaq uh, Thompson, uh, Dante Jackson, uh, the rookie who's actually p- performing very well. Uh, uh, D- Don Terry Poe. Yeah, Kawan Shore, like God damn. Yeah, they have a pretty, uh, very, very good defense. Honestly, you know, it's stepping up big time. So, um, this is really gonna be a very fun matchup, man. This could go either way. This could be considered a shootout, but at the same time, this could be a pretty low scoring game because both defenses are stepping up. Uh, we we don't really know how uh or how how this game's gonna go. We don't know if it's gonna be one side. We don't know if it's gonna be a shootout. We don't know if it's gonna be a a low scoring affair. It could be. It could, it could go either way. Exactly. And that's why this game's gonna be exciting. But as for the offense, you know, um. You know, offensive line, just keep doing what you're doing. You guys are stepping up big time. Completely. I think they allowed only, what, three sacks in the last four or five games, which is absolutely insane. That's incredible. So, offensive line, man, just continue to step up. Keep doing what the hell you're doing. Continue to feed James Conner the ball. Now, against the Carolina Panthers' rush defense, that might be a little bit of a trouble because their front seven is uh, is very good. It's, 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 it's extremely talented. It's no joke whatsoever. And their rushing defense is actually pretty good as well. So, um... You know, but I think that this will be another good test for Connor as well. Although I think Connor's completely proven. Yeah. But um, I think that we just have to continue to uh, feed Connor the ball because look what it's done the last four games. Exactly. It has just completely been absolutely lightning for this offense, man. So as, if we just continue to feed Connor the ball, I think this offense could definitely flow well and could have a pretty nice game as well. Exactly. So and of course, uh, you know, just continue to spread the ball, continue to protect Ben. Ben make uh, or limit the mistakes and limit the penalties. Yeah, and that goes for both sides of the ball, man. Exactly. No penalties and no turnovers whatsoever. Yeah. And then that was one way how we won the game last week against the Ravens is that we limited the penalties and limited the turnovers. And that was for the offense, of course. Defense has to do their part as well. Exactly. But, no um, pass interference penalties, no uh, holding penalties, no penalties whatsoever because that will kill us in this game. Yeah, it will. So um, that's basically it, man. You know, uh, uh, keys to win this game for defense is more man coverage. Try to limit Cam Newton and pass rush. As for the offense, just continue to be kind of the ball. Offensive line, continue to step up, spread the ball a little more. And don't give up any turnovers, what the fuck so Yeah, and, of course, limit the penalty. So anyway, uh, guys, other than that, you know, this should be a pretty fun matchup, man. Thursday night football. Um, this is going to be fun, man. This is going to be a, a hell of a battle. And like I said, in my honest opinion, you guys can totally disagree with me, but in my honest opinion, I think this is our toughest matchup to date, and, that, and that's why this is going to be a pretty interesting matchup. I'd have to agree with you. Have, you. You have two extremely hot offenses versus uh, two uh, uh, um, up and rising and, and upgraded defenses in the last few weeks. So this is going to be a fun matchup. This is going to be a, a real colossal showdown, man. This especially is, this has potential especially be, in Heinz Field, too. Exactly. And in prime time, man, yeah. this is the perfect time to put this game on, man. Yeah. And this is this has potential to be an absolute nail-biter. So this should be a fun matchup, man. Mm-hmm. And I want to give a huge shout-out to Isaiah Steele-Jackson, who 
Um, he is definitely, uh, well, he told us that he's going to the game, man. So for you, man, uh, definitely go to the, uh, definitely uh, enjoy the game. Hopefully uh, you and, and uh, Steelers Nation and, of course, the Steelers exit Heinz Field with a dub, with a very happy dub, with a very good performance. So hopefully that uh, that is the case. But, you know, we're not going to underestimate the Panthers whatsoever. Um, they, are, they are hot right now. I mean, they have talent all over the field, all over the board. They are no joke. They they are uh, they are they are seriously a contending team for not only the playoffs but maybe even the Super Bowl. But they have talent man. all over the field. But t- yeah, exactly, and and that's why you know the Panthers. Like I said, th- I think this is our toughest challenge to date, man, this season. Yeah. So this is gonna be a very true, fun, intense, interesting matchup. This is our true. This is a true test for the Steelers, man. Yeah. This is a true test to show that hey, you know we are you know. Um, we're upgrading, you know. You know, we have confidence. You know, we're 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 starting to become the true Pittsburgh Steelers that we are. Of course, in the last four games, man. You know, we have looked good, but this is a true test. And if we have a nice performance to get the dub, man, there's no doubt in my mind, or there should be no doubt in anyone's mind that hey, we are a playoff contender and we are on the rise, man. Yes, we seriously. are going for that number seven Lombardi Trophy, man. So, Without a doubt. Um, so this should be a very fun matchup. Again, huge shout out to my boy Steel Jackson. Enjoy the game, man. As well as anyone who else is going to the game, enjoy the game. Hopefully, we uh. Exit the game with a dub and um, see um, see you guys next video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace.